Facebook ads versus TikTok ads in 2023. Which one wins? Which one you want to stay away from, if any? Today, we have a big showdown. I'm going to share with you all. Everybody, Hernan Vasquez here, and today we're gonna to talk about a big topic, big subject, Facebook ads versus TikTok ads, which one you wanna choose, which one you don't wanna choose, and why. And today, I'm gonna to share with you just that. Now, if you love digital marketing as much as I do, if you like this type of content, feel free to share, subscribe, the little bell thingy, or rate, or leave a comment so that you can stay in digital marketing world and the algorithm start showing you more awesome, awesome content like this. So let's talk about what has been happening over the past couple of years. Uh, TikTok has been on the rise and it went from being a really young and uh, trendy platform to becoming more mature right now. And we are recording this video at the beginning of 2023, but I think that this applies no matter when you're seeing this. The reality is that each platform caters to a demographic. There's still people watching TV. There's still people reading the newspaper. There's still people buying on catalogs. There's still people listening to the radio. So advertising platforms, they don't really die. What happens is that they niche down, okay? So Facebook, for instance, right now, is a platform, it's a really good demographic for B2B, believe it or not. It's a really good demographic for a, a, an older, more mature audience. It's a really good demographic for high ticket products. We use Facebook ads and we love it and we use it for a lot of clients. Now, TikTok has been, again, a more trendy platform and it might have been you know, developing its advertising machine learning and all of that. So a lot of people are having a lot of good results but a lot of people are having really bad results. And the reason why is because they're misunderstanding how they should be targeting and who they're targeting when they're running TikTok ads. This also takes me back to the thing that I always said, which is it's great that people are jumping ship from Facebook and going into TikTok and other platforms because that frees up inventory in many on the platforms that we're running ads from with Scale Driven. So the first thing that you need to understand when you're putting together an advertising campaign or an advertising strategy is who are you catering to? For instance, if you uh, have a product or an info product or a service or high ticket coaching or whatever that's targeting high ticket executives in Fortune 500 companies, then TikTok might not be a good deal for you. Conversely, Facebook and maybe an outreach LinkedIn campaign might be a good idea. Maybe even Google might be a good idea, but you should stay away from TikTok as much as possible because your demographic is simply not there, or at least they might be there, but they're not the big consumers of TikTok content. Conversely, if you have an econ product that it's great for kids or, or women that are 30 plus and whatnot, then you might advertise on Instagram and you might also advertise on TikTok. So for e-com campaigns and general lead magnet, they work extremely well as an advertising platform. So the first thing that you want to understand is again, who you're targeting, who you're catering, and then some campaigns and some platforms work better than others when it comes to some specific products. We're also running a lot of, or a decent amount of Twitter ads lately, and it works well for some specific funnels, but not that much for other funnels. If you have an acquisition funnel or a, or a book funnel, then YouTube ads might work well or maybe Facebook ads might work well and YouTube ads might not work as well. So you want to make sure that you set up a good strategy before you jump into whatever trendy platform is coming up. And then last but not least, something that you need to understand is that this is textbook the way it works with social media platforms. At the beginning, when a social media platform is up and coming, they lure content creators, they lure people in and they lure advertisers with higher reach, all right, with higher uh, reach. And in fact, TikTok right now, it's very possible to become viral even if you have a, a small following. But the same happened with Instagram back in the day and the same happened with Facebook back in the day. It was really easy to reach to the people that you wanted to reach. In fact, you would reach 50 to 60% of your followers every time you would post something. So that's how Facebook and Instagram used to work back in the day. And then they launch ads. And when they launch ads, it's on their best interest as a company because they don't live above air. It's on their best interest to actually start capping your reach so that you will start advertising. Now, again, there's nothing wrong with this, but you need to understand how this social platform works. The same happened with CPMs or the cost to advertise. When TikTok launched, CPMs were dirt cheap. They're still much cheaper than running on other platforms like Facebook and Google. But just because you have cheap CPMs or cheap clicks doesn't necessarily mean that those clicks will turn into buyers. So that's something else to consider. So don't be afraid to quote unquote miss the boat if that demographic is simply not 
there. That's what I always say. Do not have FOMO when it comes to advertising or fear of missing out. Just because you see everyone just launching ads on TikTok, that doesn't mean that the rest of platforms do not work. In fact, you wanna have a, an omnipresent approach to advertising, that means that you want to be always top of mind of your prospect where they are, not where you think they will be. So I hope this makes sense. I hope that this is helpful. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, or even if you're having really good results with either or the platform, Facebook or TikTok, go ahead and leave on the comments below. I would be glad to hear about you. We answer every PM, we read all the comments, and I'm super thankful that you guys are watching this type of content. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.